said I was the most dead everyone, it's me, Ellie. Today we're going to be doing a really cool video. I have two cameras set up, so hopefully you get a good view of what I'm doing. Um, first things first, I'm going to pin my fringe back. I've already prepped my face with a bit of moisturiser, just because I know there's going to be a lot of products on my skin. I look like an egg, but we'll, we'll work with it. Right, we're all prepped and we're ready, so let's start with the eyebrows. And first things first, I'm going to brush up my eyebrow hair so they're nice and flat to my face, and we're going to glue them completely down. In this look, we're gonna do like massive hollowed out eyes and eyebrows are not something that we want. I'm just gonna use a glue stick. I'm gonna use this nice little normal Pritt sticks. Normally I'm meant to use like PVA glue, but not PVA glue. <laughs> oh my God, no, don't use PVA glue. Um, like water resistant glue, but this will have to just do for me. Our eyebrows are glued. First thing is first is we're gonna apply a little bit of powder onto the top of the eyebrows to stop them from like moving around too much. I'm gonna be using the Kraut Carolan powder it's a completely translucent so that you don't get any like flashback or like color from it but this stuff is like powdery okay let's apply a bit of that onto the eyebrows just to sort of set the glue a bit into place i'm gonna do some color correcting so obviously my eyebrows are really really dark we're gonna make sure that these are completely disappeared so an orange no a red which means we're gonna need face paints i have many <laughs> many face paints sort of like a bluey undertoned red face paint here um and we're gonna just dip my brush in now it's time to do some color correcting on our skin i have the sleek color correcting palette this one is really really good under our eyes with the orange and we're gonna go green on any spots or redness on the face we're now gonna do a little bit of foundation and I'm going to use my just everyday foundations. It's just the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Foundation. I am extremely pale at the moment. We winter skin on. I shed. <laughs> I'm going to go off camera and do this periodically and just try and get rid of my eyebrows as well. So what I'll be doing is I'll literally just be covering, playing, covering, playing and just continuing in that way on it. Though so I completely covered my eyebrows. I look genuinely terrifying. I'm going to apply some powder over my face. I used a little bit of this. This is the Tattoo Cover by Mehron. This stuff is thick um, with seven C's. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some outlining of our face. So first things first, I'm just going to use this really old eyeliner and we're going to just sort of like trace down the neck. And then trace that. It doesn't need to be amazing. It just needs to have like a rough outline for the time being we're going to start doing the eyes the eye section is going to be the first section we're going to possibly like start with the two the like that and we just like bring this around So you can sort of see where my hollows and my eyes are going to be. I'm going to do some shading. Shading is ridiculously important, especially with a look like this, with this James Charles palette. I know this is a special effect palette in any way. This is just a normal eyeshadow palette, but it has a really good variety of colors. With this sort of like brown shade. Because if you look like you're wearing glasses, you're on the right track. You'll not be focusing really on this like squiggly line. This is just to sort of like map out the edges i guess okay so now we've mapped around the edges of the eyes you can definitely see like where the shading is and where we're gonna like build same shade of color and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go you see and you can see where the hollows of my cheeks are we're gonna just literally just draw a line with the brown to here like that so when I rest, it looks like I've got really hollowed in cheeks. We're going to start by deepening the edges around the eyes. So I recommend getting a nice little fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with the Sose palette by Revolution. Just sort of like dip into sort of like these two main colours here. I'm just going to really like buff this around the edge. It can be quite messy with this bit. It doesn't really matter too much because we're gonna have blood like oozing out of here anyway. So that's where that's where the exciting bit comes in. Just 
build in with this little angled eyeliner brush. We're going to just build a little bit of black really close to the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to be using the Cole Eyeliner by Autograph. And we're going to just literally fill in the waterline. And the tight line and waterline, both of them together. It's all done. Well, now let's go on to the black face paint. I'm just going to dip the brush in some water. Do be somewhat precise, we're definitely around the edges. So let's go in with the same shady brush that we've been using before, but just try and make sure it's a nice like dark brown shade, we're gonna really get in there. Got Ratatouille playing in the background. But like I like to listen to Disney songs when I do this sort of stuff. I like to have like upbeat, like positive, like bright music. I'm gonna also recommend doing some hollowing around the top of your hairline. I'm gonna go in with a kind of grey brown, sort of like neaten at the hairline. I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna get a, just a bit of black eyeshadow. And I'm gonna get this black eyeshadow again, continuing it down all the way into the hollows of the cheeks <laughs> okay <laughs> i shouldn't really sit there and go because <laughs> it's not sort of spooky at all so now what we're going to do is we're going to start by plating plating the black face paint or body paint over the entire torso chest area uh, that feels so weird <laughs> get right in the ear right in the ear canal <laughs> That doesn't go. Ah! <laughs> that was a horrible experience. I have to stop my Disney music only because I can't have a little black bud sitting there, can I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking hot. Now, while we're down here on the decolletage area, we're going to start doing some shading. So let us start shading the collarbone. And we're going to just hollow the shiz out of my decolletage. And like, anywhere you see lines on your chest, whether it be from your rib cage, whether it be from like, your, <laughs> your boobies, <laughs> You need to shade, shade, shade. Don't really like the idea of putting my eyeshadow brush right by my armpit, but. <laughs> Get back close to the face again, and we're gonna start doing some eyebrows, and we're gonna do some lips, and just some chiseling a little bit more, just to make it look more doll-like. So we're gonna get this nice fine line brush, and we're gonna do some nice cheeky brown eyebrows. Like this. Face paint is so much fun. I love it. Now we're gonna go in with our mouth. The lips are something that if you, if you do, if you look at like Ted Bundy dolls and Ted Bundy styles, they have normally a very black slit and then, and then it has like maybe ruby red like outlines. And now we're gonna fill this in with our red paint to make it easier, apply a red lipstick. For the sake of this, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep everything paints. So you know, like a like a cherry. You're drawing a cherry on your lips, like so. That is terrifying. So now we're going to get this black paint, and we're going to literally just draw some really simple black lines up.
Now we've done that, we're gonna do some stitching. It's really, really creepy and looks awesome. So we're gonna like do some stitching across here like this. Now for the stitching. This bit is quite simple. You just have to do crosses. So like dot, 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 dot. And then we're gonna look like, it's gonna look like we've sewn it together. But the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna do some more shading. Shading is such an important thing in special effects. People don't talk about shading. And we're gonna just really build it up around the uh, on the dot. Okay, so now we've done that, we're gonna do some like soft lines with some brown eyeshadow. We're gonna just cross it together. So we're gonna go back in with our black eyeliner, the e.l.f. one, and we're gonna just draw some really fine lines that look like stitches. Doll is ready. Let's get some blood in there. Final step, let's use a bruising kit or bruise wheels as you would call them um because we're going to be putting blood from the in the black orbs and also around the thing we're going to do some purple bruising and we're going to just apply this literally just around the rim of the eye with a brush and then blend it in with the finger and you see like looks like really like hollowed out and like really like tired i'm gonna have really like Bruise wheels are so much fun to use because you can really make like bruises, which is what they're for, but you know what I mean. Ah. It's the fresh scab. It's disgusting. It looks like jam and it's awesome. And I'm going to use this with a cotton bud. We're going to just apply some of this fresh scab over where the holes will allegedly be. gonna do is we're gonna just sort of just apply a little bit of the goop right into my eye uh, sockets well the dull eye sockets not my actual eye sockets and it just sort of like if you like tap it around you can see like it really like brings it together it looks like they're hollowed out so we've got our hair up just for a period of time while we go and put a little stage blood on our face because it's gonna run and it's gonna be sticky and i don't want this stage blood all in my hair because it's not gonna come out if you do it's it gets really messy really quickly and i wouldn't recommend using bristles in uh blood just because it it's so it's so gloopy so we're just gonna like just drip some of the stage blood right onto the open gash and let it run let it run let it do its thing let the gravity take hold and we'll make it look like you've been sewn together what you like to do is get the brush and just apply blood all into the insides of my lips it does taste like like sort of like syrup <laughs> so it's not the best taste but the taste it's horrible Actually, it's not that bad. It tastes a bit like cowpole. <laughs> We're going to apply some in the sockets of the eyes. This bit is going to be crazy, so just prepare yourself. And we're going to just apply some of the blood. Just going to really get this blood just in the eye sockets. This is meant to be gross. This is not meant to be pretty. So just to tell you gonna be like oh my god you ruined it with all the blood it's meant to be bloody it's not meant to look nice <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit more chiseling around the decolletage while we let this dry it doesn't need to be that neat it just needs to look hollowed
We're gonna add some bruising onto the chest of the girl. Start by, we're gonna apply some of this sort of like brown shade. I'm just gonna sort of like dab it, I guess, onto the, onto the chest. Adding purple. Adding a little bit of blue in there as well. So now we're gonna just paint the arms black. Not all the arms, because as you can see, I don't look proportionate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slice down the arm. You're not gonna really eat past like this point anyway, but it's good to just get rid of a little bit of extra skin. And now we're gonna sort out the hair. The hair is the bit that I feel is gonna be the finishing touches to this look. And there we have it everybody. This is my creepy Tim Burton style doll. I know Tim Burton is much more like animated and much creepier but this is the sort of like thin decolletaged area going on. Um, we're gonna now get some final shots done but I really hope you enjoyed this creepy Tim Burton doll thing. Obviously once my eyes are shut I'll be doing some final shots and you'll be able to see the full effect of the look. Um, and yeah, time for the montage, but I hope you enjoyed. Bye.